It, it's, it's amazing. I, I, I could never think how they could fine tune and make the M5 even better than mm. it was with this uh, life cycle impulse. And it goes to show you the amount of work, the amount of engineering, uh, you know, the amount of um, uh, structure that goes into place on developing something more from its predecessor. And, and we're going to see something again with the M5 CS. It's just a, another element, right. you know, one more. The sheer more. amount of road testing as well that follows that development. Yeah, mm. I can just imagine. It'd be fun doing it though. The poor people have to do it. Oh, I feel sorry for them. And, and look, I, know, I, I haven't gone as far as doing uh, road testing, but I have had the privilege of, of driving the M5 on, on a few occasions mm. uh, with the family and with the baby seats and the pram and, and you know, doing the daily chores around, uh, around home and, uh, and also going on those long drives and it's just an amazing crossover vehicle of of a family drive car and one of the fastest production cars that we've ever produced. Four-door supercar. Four-door yeah. supercar, exactly right. And soon to be a four-door supercar with four bucket seats. Styling-wise, yes. we've got modernised styling package, which includes obviously the new front side uh, rear elements, the mm -hmm. updated kidney grille. Yep. Uh, we have a one-piece high-gloss surround design, uh, design around the frames, Looks uh, which is both it? the elements of the grille. Absolutely mm. love that, 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 that high-gloss um, black surround. It's one of my favourite features. Uh, new apron as yep. well, Nick. Yep. All the so, new co um, contouring. Yeah, that's right. And uh, larger air intakes. Yeah. So feeding that that uh, big 4.4 litre twin turbo V8. Yeah. Needs and a lot of cooling. It does need a lot of cooling. And if you take into consideration the new uh, L-shaped light tubes. Yeah, really obviously nice. Obviously with, uh, with the blue little uh, uh, eyebrows that, yep. uh, that the, that the car gives off. Mm. Uh, you've got the individual shadow line. It really gives it a much more aggressive stance when you see that car uh, coming up behind you in the, in, in, the, uh, in the rear view mirror. And know when to move out of its way. And know, yes, exactly right. Mm. Um, then we've got the bespoke uh, engine mounts with, a, with yep. a stiffer spring rate. Yep. So engine response is even better now. Yep. Which is hard to believe. A bit more of a firmer connection. That's right. Yep. yep. Exactly. And new shock absorbers as well. So yeah, from the M8 Grand Coupe. That's right. Yeah. So adopting that technology from a large car, yeah. but striking that balance between handling and ride. Interior-wise, yes. uh, new screen, 12.3 mm -hmm. inch. inch. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Lo Touch love screen the clarity as well. and all that. Mm -hmm. And again, a very important feature amongst BMWs is the fact that that screen works similarly from a 1 Series all the way to an M8. It's something that exactly. uh, BMW drivers really, really appreciate is that you can go from one car to another within our range and not get confused with how the actual functionality of, of, of the screens and the head-up display and the, and the actual cluster work. And the iDrive is seamless. You know, it is. For absolutely. a long time. And, and it's just, it gets better and choice. better every time, it does. doesn't it? With every yeah. new model, every new update, they just find something else to sort of tinker with to, to make it a little bit more user-friendly. Mm -hmm. um, two new buttons in the centre console. Yes. So being able to turn it into track mode yep. very easily, so that collates all the systems. Yep ready for track use. Quick switch between road and sport. That's right. Yeah. 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 Um, track mode again, one of my favourites and we spoke about that uh, uh, in our last podcast around uh, M3 and M4. So yeah, it's such exactly. a real, real, real cool feature for mm. the uh, for the diehard sports fans. Thinner wall, exhaust pipes. Yep. That's right. And th that just adds another look to the, the yeah. rear. I mean, yeah. it's obviously still got that amazing sound yeah, that, we've, that we've become accustomed and, and, to. And again, very much um, that, that, that aggressive rear stance mm. with the new tail lights That's right. uh, gives it a little bit more of that three-dimensional look. And we should mention, yep. Nick, this is one of our uh, new colours in the range, the Matigi Red. Yes. Uh, which is a, which is a new new one for the uh, for the M5. Doesn't it just show that red works on it BMWs, oh, especially definitely. the M5? Definitely, and, and it sort of highlights the black features of the high gloss, yep. the carbon roof. Good contrast. Uh, and, and the wheels themselves, and you've got the red brake calibers, which, which sort of pop as well. Mm. 